Hello, this is uh, the TA Drew Martin. I'm going to be talking about some of the modeling techniques that we're going to be using for this class, for the class project. Um, in this, we'll be going over PyroSim and Pathfinder, the main two software tools that we'll be using for this class. Um, uh, there's been a bunch of questions about them, so I thought it'd be best to do kind of a review over some things that might some people might know and some people might not. Um, so I'll talk about PyroSim, what it is, how it uh, connects to FDS, um, how you can use them separately and, and together. Um, there's already been a couple of topics that have been covered uh, that you probably used for building your uh, models for the previous assignment. Um, so there's just a couple more that we'll touch today, um, such as importing more complex geometry in different forms, some of the meshing uh, things you can do, uh, how we can use remote computing to take the burden off of your computer, and uh, using some alternative tool techniques. For Pathfinder, again, we'll look at importing geometry in a different way, uh, looking at building stairs, which is a little bit more complex, and then some other things as, as well. Um, so there's a lot of other resources that we've identified for you. Um, YouTube can be a good resource, but then also the FTS homepage. Um, so if you just go to the Echo 360 Class Capture tab, we have the uh, tutorials by Brian Klein, which pretty much should guide you through um, how to build these uh, models. Um, there's a lecture that I gave a couple years ago. Um, and in between those two, that should give you a pretty good overview. Um, however, uh, Thunderhead has posted some videos to their, to their YouTube page, um, getting started, importing files, how to add stairs. There's a number of different tutorials that, that you can look at here. Um, similarly, PyroSim also has a number of different materials here. Um, that you can use, and they have some more kind of advanced techniques as well. Um, so the underlying kind of um, software that, that PyroSim uses is, is called FTS, Power Dynamic Simulator. Um, PyroSim is just a, a preprocessor for that. You can use it to better um, look at and organize the geometry that you're going to be modeling um, in a more visual fashion inside the GUI. However, FDS is really the software that it, it, it that, that does the, the computational fluid dynamics modeling portion of it. Um, and you can just go to their website and, and uh, find a lot of resources here as well. Um, you can see that it comes in Windows, Mac, or Linux, um, or you can buy, download Smokey uh, by itself. Um, if you go down here to the documentation page, they have the user guide and all of the other um, resources that they provide people. Uh, one thing to note is there are uh, release notes that you can look at. Um, and sometimes the versions can differ uh, pretty significantly from, uh, from one to the other. Um, I think most of you are probably using the newest version. If you just download it off the website, 6.5.3. Um, but it might be useful to kind of look back and see what uh, things you might find. Um, 